Wow. Shots fired! Thomas! That quick. Hey, Griggs! Philip Allen listened to the gunshots that day. Man, stay back! Yeah, that's what I heard. But now he's getting his first look at the visuals. Well, first of all, what happened? The body camera video shows Officer Stephen Matson opening his door after being rear-ended. The video then shows Ronald Davis coming toward him with what appears to be a knife. Oh! 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 Holy! Get the f get, get away from me! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! 181! Shots fired! To St. Paul Police and the mayor, the video seems to prove the officer acted appropriately. An officer who had no choice but to defend himself against an immediate and a violent act. As the son of a police officer, uh, I can't say that I can see anything beyond that uh, that we could have expected him to do. The BCA is handling the investigation and the county attorney will decide if the officer used force legally. But activists aren't trusting that process. So there is not an agency that we feel is independent right now. The anti-police brutality coalition is demanding an outside investigation and the release of more body camera, dash cam and surveillance video. We don't see the full scope of what happened. We don't know what happened after the fact, we don't know what happened leading up to Ronald K. Davis being shot and killed by police. Police haven't said why Davis charged the squad car. I can't uh, begin to imagine what was going through this young man's head. It's a question with no easy answer. I don't know where, where to lay the blame, but I'm sad for the family and the officer. The activist groups say the family of Ronald Davis is obviously distraught and requesting privacy at this time. Meanwhile, the officer was not hurt, but his chief acknowledged that his life will never be the same. In St. Paul, I'm Danny Spiewak, Care 11 News.